Hi everyone, in today's session we'll talk about how to use Hyperview model in HyperStudy to add the output responses from an element set which is not numbered or if you have created various kind of a specific element set in, in your Hyperview session that you can leverage in HyperStudy. So let's go ahead and add a model which is a parameterized file model. So we'll select the TPL file from the folder. Uh, in uh, the variable would be the in this case is is a property p shell card just click on ok in this case let's add the file name so it's the fem file select the object struct as a solver click on import variables and we have the variable imported in hyperstudy let's go ahead and perform the test models so hyperstudy is is writing the fem file solving it and ex extracting the output response right so let's just wait for it Okay, so the run has finished. So what we'll do is we'll not go ahead and add the output response. Instead, what we will do is uh, we have the Hyperview session open. So what we'll go ahead is we'll copy the S3 file from the folder and add it in the main file, right? So now in Hyperview, we will add this folder, right? We select the S3 file. And we just say apply now we create two sessions and we repeat the same process right so why we have two sessions because uh, this is pertaining to set one and this is set two right so let's go ahead and click on contour we select element stresses in this case let's select elements and we say apply this is for the, this particular window and the same for this one so we click on contour and we say element stresses, elements displayed, apply, right? So we have two uh, windows of uh, session of windows uh, pertaining to different sets. So let's click on hotspot for the first one, right? And let's give it a name as set one. In this case, let's select an element set. In this case, we select say by set. We have already created this one in the hyper in the obstruct file so it's ready to use so in this case uh, we want to say none and we click on find hotspot and review so we have five hotspots identified so it will try to give the maximum from this particular uh, session then we click on the second file we again click on hotspot right and uh, now what we do is we give the name as set two in this case element one selection set to right so we have 56 elements we keep the option to none find hotspots and review so we have four of the uh, four in this one right so we'll go ahead and just save the file right and we say it as hotspots right so we save the file now we go back to hyperstudy we click on model resource, resource and we say add an output file. We select the S3D file uh, and we just say this is a file that we are looking for to add as a link resource, right? Then we add a model, which is a Hyperview model in this case, right? We select the hotspot file, the session file from Hyperview that we have just created, right? Uh, but we do an extra step of telling HyperStudy that add a link resource from your model one, right? Just click on close. Um, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and perform the, as of now, uh, it has not extracted anything. So we'll just go ahead and say import variable. So HyperStudy will try to connect to Hyperview to add uh, the element stresses uh, from the two set in HyperStudy. So let's just wait for it and in the meanwhile uh, we click on define output response we see that two sets are there so what we have to do to extract the values is go to test models we'll click on write we click on execute And we click on extract right so now we have two output responses as you can see that there are if you click on again hotspot 
uh, you'll be able to review your results which is 25.67 in this case and in this case it is um, 15.79 the same that you see in hyperstudy right so that's how you leverage the hyperview connection in hyperview just to add a little, little uh, an important point is that make sure the s3 file uh, is added from the m1 folder and the hotspot the session file is in the main folder of hyperstudy right so why it is important is so that the connection works as per the process and just to uh, give an idea if you look at the the file of session file the session file refers to this s3 file which is the baseline it, it, it does not incorporate any any relative path so that is very important so yeah